Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I shall be swatching for you two beautiful palettes sent to me by Anelia from Red Clover Meadow. One palette has 12 colours in it, the other palette has 6 colours and I will be swatching them for you. She also very generously sent me some paper goods that they sell in their store. She sent me a little watercolour journal with hot press paper, a journal that has cold press paper and a little watercolour pad with cold press paper. I did take one of the journals for a quick spin <laughs> because I am an impatient person and I really wanted to try the paper in the watercolour journals and I, I love watercolour journals. I have to say I have a great affection for them. So here we are. I'm just going to show you what the watercolours look like in this little journal and I think they look beautiful. Paper's really nice to work on and you can see how vibrant the colours look. Really lovely little watercolour journal. So I thought I'd show you those as well. But going back to the focus of our video which is these two watercolour palettes and I'll do like a mini unboxing for you so that you can see what they look like. This one is the palette with the 12 colours, obviously it's the bigger one and you can see just from the swatches on the paper that the colours look glorious, I can't wait to swatch them. And this is the smaller palette. And I'll be swatching that for you as well. I can't wait to begin swatching. I'll set everything up and I'll be back in a second. I'm back and before I begin swatching these beautiful colours, I thought I'd just mention that I'll leave the link below in the video description for those of you who would like to visit Red Clover Meadow and see their beautiful colours on their site. Um, so I'll begin swatching. I have just added a little bit of water to each half pan to kind of wake up the colour. And our first colour is Yellow Earth, which I'll be swatching first in Mastone. This is, oh, this feels lovely. Really pretty ochre, which I'll dilute in a second so that you can see what it looks like diluted. lovely and soft lovely soft and glowing ochre which is my kind of ochre I like a, an ochre that isn't dull just sweep up a little bit of colour there there we go it's very pretty peach is our next colour which looks like a, a brown I don't know, we'll see. Looks like a brown, but no, it's an orange. It's an orangey, earthy color, earthy brown. Not quite brown, but very soft. And I'll dilute that. It's so pretty, very pretty colour. 
I can see some granulation in this. We'll see when the watercolour dries how much granulation there is, but I think I can detect a little bit of granulation there. Warm yellow earth is next. This is more opaque. Lovely earth colour. So quite a unique earth colour. And dilute that. Oh, one key circle. Went a little bit wide there. Can we just pick up some colour? There we go. That seems to have a little bit of granulation as well. Next we have Urcolano Red. I can never know for certain if I pronounce that correctly. I hope I am. This looks quite opaque. Yep. Whoa. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful. That is beautiful. The first three have kind of neutrality to them. This is really very bold and intense. And yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm going all wider on my um watercolor circles here. All the more wider. That is very pretty. Again, a little bit of granulation. Very pretty color. Copper red is next. Oh, this is very opaque as well. This is, I would say this is completely opaque. Wow. That is total coverage. And I'll dilute that. It's much cooler than the Urcolano Red. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, that is so pretty. I love this colour. So pretty. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going all the more wider in this because I'm in really, really loving this beautiful, soft, cool red colour, earthy red colour. Next we have Brick Red, which looks more of a brown. I'll see. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that is beautiful. We started off with these neutral kind of pale colours and we're really going into the bold colours here. They're beautiful. Oh, that it looks like a burnt sienna to me. Absolutely beautiful. Again, with a little bit of granulation. So next we have green earth. Whoa, that is beautiful and quite intense for a 
green earth. I'm sorry, I went a bit croaky there. Has a little bit of a froggy voice. Um, let's dilute that. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I love soft green earths. Beautiful. Our next colour is our first blue and it is teal blue. Oh, how beautiful is that? That is lovely. It's a beautiful, cool blue with granulation. There's particles, like little particles in there. the transparent version. Oh, it's beautiful. And I can see the particles in this as well. I'm loving this palette. It's beautiful. Midnight Blue is next. Oh wow, another bold colour, that, whoa. That is intense. I love that this palette has some really soft colours and then it has these really punchy earth colours too. I think they work really well together. Oh, um, okay, that's supposed to be diluted, but I think, yeah, it's, so, it's really pigmented, so I need to take some color out. Yeah, beautiful. I love this teal blue, I love, 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 love. Okay, then we have red brown. So we're back to brown now. Oh, this is very yellow leaning brown. I love that it has all these variations of these earthy browns. Got the reds, the orange leaning ones, the cool red, the warm red. Now we've got the yellow leaning red, um, sorry, the yellow leaning brown. That has granulation as well. Dark Crimson is next. Whoa. That is beautiful. Almost has like a violet undertone. I'll dilute this. Wow, that has some pronounced granulation from what I can see. Lovely. 
And the, our final color of this palette is Burnt Umber. I love that. I love this. It's beautiful umber. I'm very picky about my umbers. <laughs> um, so when I see a number that I really like, I'm like, I get really excited. This is beautiful. Uh, okay, one key circle incoming. Let's um, dilute that. Oh, lovely, lovely soft color. Okay, so those are our colors and I think this is a beautifully curated palette. It has your yellow, your red, your different reds, you've got your blues, you've got your browns, you've got all these really interesting versions of earth colors like the, the redder, you know, the, the cooler redder, the warmer redder the orange leaning, the more yellow leaning, violet leaning. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Really lovely. Thank you so much, Anelia, for sending this to me. I will be using it a lot. I really love these colors. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry a bit. And then I will be moving on to our second palette, which is this little tiny one, with six colors, and I'll be swatching them for you in a little bit. So I'm back and I'll begin swatching our smaller palette. And our first color is this warm yellow, which I'll swatch for you first in Mastone. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful orange leaning yellow. Almost like an Indian yellow. Beautiful. And dilute that. I can see a little bit of granulation in this. I think. Here on the edges. Coral orange is next. This looks so rich. Oh, wow. It is. <laughs> up a little bit more. A heavily red leaning orange. And I'll dilute that. I think I over diluted that. I need to put a bit more color. Again, I can see a little bit of granulation in there. We'll see what happens when it dries, but I can see the colors sinking into the valleys of the paper. The pigment rather, not the colors. Next we have French Vermilion. Ooh, quite opaque. Oh, lovely. Beautiful, bold, red. I'm going to add a little bit more. Yeah, our circle is rather small. And 
I'll dilute that. That orange has definitely granulated. And this red is looking like it's going to granulate. You don't get reds granulating often. Well, I, in my experience, I haven't seen many granulate. Yeah, definitely some granulation going on there. And now we have red. Ooh, again, very bold. On the side there of the half pan, it says Pyrrole Red. So this is a Pyrrole. Dilute that a little bit. Um, okay, <laughs> I need to put more color, water. I need to put more water because, uh, yeah so pigmented yeah I, I also need to lift a little bit of the color oh and we're oh, oh, yeah we're going really wonky here okay okay i think yeah i think that is better next we have magenta very bold and I'll dilute that beautiful beautiful color very intense Excellent for mixing. And our final colour is Mineral Violet. Look at that. That has granulated a lot. And that coral orange has granulated as well. So if anyone out there is looking for a red that granulates, this does. This French Vermilion does. Oh, that is such a pretty mineral violet. An intense mineral violet as well. Some mineral violets are quite weak. Let's dilute that. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. We're just gonna pick up a little bit of the colour so that oops, sorry, I bumped you. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the colour so that you can see it diluted better. They're really impressive colours and I'm yeah. It's not often that I see like a, a, an orange or a red granulate, and these both do. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Okay, thank you so much, Anelia, for sending these to me and giving me the opportunity to swatch them here for all of you. I think they're beautiful colours. This, I have to say, this is my favourite palette, this one. Um, the colours are much more, colours that I would use much more frequently. These colours I love. They are a little bit too intense for me, but I would absolutely use them for mixing. Um, I would use them heavily diluted for glazing so that they could um, enhance 
more Mui colours. Really, really pretty and very, very interesting that these two granulate so, so well. And, but yeah, this has to be my favourite. This has to be my favourite palette. Thank you so much, Anelia, for sending them. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'll, as I said before, I'll add the link below to Red Clover Meadow so that you can visit their site and see all their beautiful colours and all the other goodies they have in their store. Um, okay, so that's it for me today. Before I leave, I need to say my awkward bit, which is... If you like this video, please hit the like button because that helps the video's visibility. I really would appreciate that. Um, if you would like to see more videos like this and anything basically about watercolors, because I'm, I'm kind of, I have a little bit of obsession with watercolors <laughs> and water um, paper and brushes and anything related to watercolor really. Um, you are so welcome to subscribe and hit the notification button so that YouTube will let you know when I have a new video uploaded. I would love to hear your comments on these colors, on watercolors, on, yeah, if you just want to say hi, that would be lovely. Thank you. Um, and before I leave, I want to say my little bit about hope, which is never let go of hope don't do it especially in the darkest days the only way that that life works is that things will get better and for us to get through those dark times we need to hold on to something even if there is nothing around if everything looks so dark and so oppressive the the thing that keeps us afloat during those times is hope and I keep on holding to hope every single day some days more than others but every day I cling on to hope and I hope you will join me those who need to cling on to hope on holding on to that together I'm there right there holding on to hope with you for better days to come I love you guys keep safe keep creative I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye.